Hey guys, I'm Vince Gabriel and I am the author of The Ultimate Guide for Marketing Your Gym and The Ultimate Guide also to Sales for Your Gym. And I wanted to bring you a video today that can give you five ways to get more clients without Facebook. Um, there is a huge epidemic among fitness professionals that they just rely on Facebook to deliver, deliver leads. And, and the reality is, yeah, they do get leads, but most of those leads don't end up becoming clients anyway. And so I put together a, a series of things for you to start doing that can help you get clients without using Facebook. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't use Facebook. I think Facebook is a great tool that you should use it, but the problem is people rely on it and they ignore all the other great things that you can do. All right, so we get ready and dig in. Hopefully you got your notepad, notepad out and we're gonna really unpack a bunch of stuff for you. So make sure you're, you're taking notes on there. Okay, so number one, Imagine that, email, all right, email. What an unbelievable way to start getting new clients. So uh, I'm hopefully assuming that you have an email list and that you're emailing your list regularly. Um, if you're not, that's like where you gotta start, just do that. But the reality is sometimes people are and they complain about not being able to get a lot of clients through emails. I'm sending emails, I'm putting out content, uh, but nothing ever comes from it. And here's the big point I want you to make with your email. So what I want you to start focusing on is a better call to action. And you can do several things. You can send them to your website, you can send them to a landing page from email. But what I love to do is to ask for engagement. And when you can start actually saying things at the end of the email, like, hey, reply to this email. Some of you on my email list that are watching this probably have heard me do that uh, several times. Uh, to you guys, but think about this. Just hey, um, we're doing a you know a Black Friday sale, or we're doing this. Reply to this email if you'd like more info. It's one of the easiest things for people to do. Is just click reply, and then immediately there's a conversation that's going on right away. So I think the problem with email is just not having a really really great call to action. So that's number one. Make sure with your email you got a really really great call to action for get the people to engage. Okay. Number two, a better website. People are totally ignoring this. So he, let me let me give you this. I'm gonna throw my books down for a second. If you asked one of your clients and you said, Mr. Client, um, if you didn't know me and you were looking for a place like this, what would you do? And they'd probably take out their phone and they'd be like, well, I go to Google. Right? And they Google personal training by me, gym by me, whatever they would Google. And what would come up? Hopefully, hopefully what would come up is your website. And I think people are underestimating this big time. Google is the largest search engine on the planet. Okay. It's really, really important for you to start getting clients through the largest search engine on the planet. But if your website's a dog, and not gonna bring any clients to you, it's a total waste. So you, one, you, you gotta be focusing on your website. And here's, I'm not, I, I could spend five hours talking about all the different things you need to do with your website. Here's the thing that I've made, and I did this with one of my mastermind members, uh, Chris Merritt. And the only thing we did is change one thing on his website and made him a boatload of money. We just put his unique selling proposition on his website. So all it did was your unique selling proposition, basically what's your statement that makes you stand out um, among your competition and really tells people who you are for. And I don't remember his exact call to action, but it was like, uh, I'll give you ours at GFP. It's we help people age 40 plus lose weight, gain energy and live a more active life. So that is what we're saying. And that's boom right on your website, that's the first thing that pops up. So people come to your website, they say, okay, I know what they're doing here. I know that this is for me. And that's the type of thing that you're looking for. So when someone goes to your website, they should be able to know you're a gym. They should be able to know what type of clients you work with. But at the end of the day, people are going to Google. They're searching for you on Google and you don't even know it. Okay, they're going to your website and then they're just getting blasted right back because there's nothing for them to do because they don't really know that what the heck this is all for. So you gotta focus on your website. Start with one basic tip, putting your unique selling proposition on your website. Okay, 
Number three, my camera girl, uh, Kelly, right now is getting her arms getting a little tired from holding this up, so I'm gonna speed this up. Okay, so number three, asking for referrals. I know, I know, I know that you guys do a great job, right? I know you do a great job. Kelly, we're gonna have to get you in the gym working out a little bit if this camera's <laughs> getting too heavy for you to hold. Okay, so, but asking for referrals, I know you guys do a great job. Um, so that's why you should ask people that come up and tell you that you're doing a great job for a referral. Every day, I bet someone comes up to you and says, you know, this place changed my life, or I love this gym, this gym, I've met my best friends here, I've lost weight better, I've lost more weight here than I've ever lost in my entire life. And what you just like kind of shrug it off. And that is like the perfect opportunity for you to just say, hey, you know, we would love to help more people like you. Um, who's the first person that pops into your mind that you think that, you know, would, would, would benefit from working with us? And they hopefully will give you some kind of a name and then, you can ask them and prod them to give you some kind of an email introduction or something like that. But the reality is um, no one's going home w thinking about how they can fill your gym for you. You gotta ask them, right? You're already halfway there. You're probably already doing great work. You're already doing a great job. And you got people that are kind of saying this to you. Now you just need to pick up when someone does say that and then ask them for the referral. So you gotta, you gotta ask, you gotta ask. So that's number three, just gotta go ask people for referrals, okay? Number four, number four is building joint ventures. Um, great story uh, the other day, I looked around at my gym. So I'm, I'm in my gym, I, um, I'm a fitness business consultant, but I also own a gym too, imagine that. Um, so, um, but I was, I was looking around my gym and I talked to one of our clients, he was a lawyer. And then I talked to one of our other clients and he was a lawyer. And then on my way out, I bumped into another client, also a lawyer, all in the same day. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? Are we like a gym for lawyers? Um, but it kind of made me think like, okay, there's a lot of lawyers that are already training here. Where can I go to get myself in front of more lawyers? Well, I went down the street and a couple towns over from my gym is a town called Summit, New Jersey. And there is a, something called the Summit Bar Association. And the Summit Bar Association is a thing that where lawyers meet once a month and they go to this dinner and they have drinks and there's a guest speaker and they're all there, all in one shot. And so what I did is I called up the guy that runs the thing and I said, hey, you know, we train a lot of lawyers looking to create a relationship, you know, in the area and we talk to more lawyers and help more lawyers, you know, with their fitness. And uh, so then I went and created a relationship and I'm going over to speak to their company uh, next month in December. And uh, it, it's a win-win. It's a win-win for them because they get a speaker. It's a win-win for us because I get to talk to all these clients. But looking in your community and looking at the commonalities that you currently have in your gym and going out and creating relationships with large groups of those people. Uh, Dan, Dan Kennedy has a thing, that, you know, sell one to many. Well, when you get in front of, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be speaking in front of 50 lawyers, like all super qualified clients. Um, that have really big potential to be clients at here at the gym. Um, so go out, create joint ventures. Don't tinker around on Facebook all day thinking that the next lead magnet are gonna get this. You gotta be doing that stuff, but the reality is we're belly to belly community-based businesses. And these are things you guys gotta be doing. All right, here's the last one. Okay, remember, this is to get more clients without Facebook ads and really without any digital marketing aside from the website thing. Okay, and the last one is number five, is bring a friend event. It could be a bring a friend day, bring a friend week, bring a friend month, whatever it is. It's happening literally in the gym right now. Kelly, who's holding, having trouble holding the camera up right now, she's she's the head of marketing, Gabriel Fitness, and she was telling me, we've got a bunch of new clients from bring a friend week. All we did was put a, a, a flyer up and send a couple emails out, and all of a sudden, we got like five to 10 new people coming in through the door. Um, and these are really good, highly qualified people that are coming through the door. So sometimes these really basic, simple things um, are, are really, really powerful and really, really impactful. And you gotta think, to get five new clients, like how many Facebook leads do you need to get to get five new clients? It's probably a lot of them. So you gotta start thinking about and thinking back to the roots of this business, right? We're belly to belly, community-based businesses. Some of the things we need to start doing 
are, are just that. And we can you know, automate everything and tech everything, but at the end of the day, um, even, even online businesses are doing more belly to belly type stuff. So that is five ways for you to get more cl uh, clients without Facebook ads. But I, I just am scraping, 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 scraping the surface. I know this is even a long video, but I'm just scraping the, sur scraping the surface. Um, uh, if you want more information uh, like this, um, you, you can download my book. Um, I'm going to put a, or you can get a copy of it free. I'm going to put a link in the, uh, in the notes of this video. And you can just click that link and get a copy of my, my uh, book, The Ultimate Guide to Marketing Your Gym. And so go get that book. And there's a lot of tons of more stuff that I talked about uh, today. But uh, really appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out and shoot me an email at vince at gabrielfitness.com. Peace. Have a great day.